there's quite a bit of cutting to do which normally is quickly and efficiently dealt with with a ride on mower until it was stolen. I've had to resort to using the scythe but as it's much slower to get round I've had to cut the lawns in red. Ah, move out of the way boomers! Do you ever find yourself wondering hmm how in the world do people afford to flex such drip? Not that drip, I'm talking about this kind of drip. Well today's your lucky day because I'm going to teach you how to cop the latest, the hottest, the most trendiest streetwear out there on the market today so you can flex on them like my boy Adam Sandler right here. So grab a seat, kick back, relax, and take off those old dirty bands that you've been wearing since your junior year of high school because I'm teaching you how to cop streetwear and sneakers. Right here we have a Supreme Box logo. But look, these are Fort Pierce Cushion Cool Socks. And then right here on the on the regular black, uh, I mean. Whoa! It came with a Supreme Keychain! Nah, no, I'm just kidding, this is mine. <laughs> Copping some fresh streetwear sneakers, you're probably gonna do one of two things. A, sell that shit and make a fuck ton of money, or B, rep that shit like a G and flex on them haters. Either way, I'm gonna teach you how to cop shoes like these to make all your friends and family jealous. Okay, let fam, first things first, you'll be needing to follow in the goats of the gram. No, 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 not that goat. I mean the ones who let you know about the fresh and upcoming sneaker and streetwear releases. I'm gonna list a few right here as well as the description down below so you can check them out later. Alright, now that you're in the loop, next up is making a list of all the upcoming raffles and sneaker releases on your calendar. <coughs> For sneaker releases, most don't actually drop on the day they're supposed to release. They release through drawings or raffles, which essentially signs you up to have the possibility of buying the shoe, but it's not 100% guaranteed. We'll take the upcoming Off-White and Nike Waffle Racer collab as an example. You fill in your information like your name, email, addresses, and credit card information, and simply click sign up. It's that easy. Now when you sign up, you wait anywhere from two to seven days for an email confirming whether you purchased the shoes or not. Next is copying streetwear clothing, which is called drops. A drop is a limited release of merchandise, often as a marketing technique by streetwear fashion brands. Drop culture is the thinking, behavior, and community surrounding it. Basically, it's a way for big companies to release a limited amount of merchandise with artificial limited supply, which makes us pay more money for it up front, as well as paying even double that resale. <laughs> it's genius! Now, this one isn't as simple as the raffles, because it depends on various amount of things, like whether stores release a drop it in-store, online, the different dates, the different times. For example, Kith drops on Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Supreme drops on Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Palace drops on Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Bape drops on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you take a screenshot of this so you know exactly when everything drops. A little bonus tip for you, fellas. If you're copying Supreme or pretty much anything else, make sure you use Google Chrome Autofill so you can check out even faster. Or if you want to cheat a little bit more, you can use a Supreme bot that will let you check out even faster and fill out all your credit card information without you having to do anything. But Marcus, how do I resell the fresh new drip that just copped? <laughs> well, newbie Marcus who just copped his first drip, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. I so numb, I feel you there. there are three ways to resell clothing or sneakers in the aftermarket. Number one, eBay. Number two, social media, like Facebook Marketplace and Instagram. And number three is StockX. Now, of course, with all great things, there has to be a pros and cons. But thankfully for you, I made a pros and cons list because come on, who doesn't love pros and cons lists? Number one is super self-explanatory. eBay is good for maximizing your profits quickly and from the comfort of your own couch, but naturally, the cons are that you have the possibility of getting scammed. Next up, social media like Facebook Marketplace and Instagram are good for getting a little bit more security while still gaining a pretty good return on investment. However, the cons will be having to actually leave your own house, you little introverted rascal you. Pro tip! Always use PayPal whenever doing anything online because it keeps you safe and secure. Because it keeps track of all your shipment and money transactions. And last but not least, there's StockX. StockX is this 
great new platform for buyers and sellers to confidently make deals with every single product going through StockX's professionally authenticity legit check to guarantee every item's 100% legit. It's like a stock market for your sneakers. And that's why I'm proud this video is sponsored by... Um... <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. No one would sponsor this video. <laughs> But StockX is actually the safest way to sell any of your sneakers or streetwear because all you have to do is list it, ship it to them, and then they take care of the rest. But then, of course you guessed it, it's the cons. StockX is notorious for fees for selling and buying. When you sell something on StockX, you do lose 12% of your total sale, with the transaction fees being 9% and the payment processing fee being 3%. Now I know that might not seem like a lot, but let's take a pair of the Travis Scott Air Force Ones I just sold on StockX as an example. I sold the shoe for $595, but, and that's a big but, $53.55 went to the transaction fee and $17.85 went to the payment processing fee, which left me with $523, but, an even bigger but, leaving a $71.40 cut for StockX, which I could have easily saved by selling them myself. So ultimately, it's up to you and what you think the best way is to sell that big mouth bass that you just freshly caught from the ocean scraps that you reeled in all by yourself and you're really proud of and you showed your dad but he was too busy to care because he was drinking too much on your father and son bonding bond trip and you were only 12 years old and you weren't allowed to have a phone until you are 15 years old and then you couldn't take a picture to show your friends and you went home disappointed and empty handed with the big mouth bass that you could have gotten but you weren't allowed to keep and then you were depressed forever. Anyways guys, I want you to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date for future home video updates where we can build that well to store all your freshly caught drip. If you guys thought I put a lot of work into my other videos, this is my notes for this video. Just a lot of information. <laughs> This video is for Ringbone!